Today I'm going to show you how to unclog a toilet. The first method, you don't even need any tools. The second two methods can get a little ugly. Hey, if this is your first time here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Now a toilet that doesn't flush well is either caused by an obstruction in the bowl or a problem with the guts in the toilet. So what I usually do to start troubleshooting is take off the, the lid of the bowl and flush it and watch and see what happens. So uh, the best test to do here is to get some toilet paper and throw it in there. And let's flush it and see what happens. So that's not good. It didn't go all the way down. Uh, what I'm looking for is for the flapper to lift all the way up and completely empty the contents of the tank into the bowl. Now, the bowl has holes underneath the rim here. And so the water drains from the tank, rushes throughout the bowl, and down into, uh, down into the, the throat of the toilet. So obviously this isn't working. As I watched it flush, everything looked like it functioned well in the tank. So I'm guessing there's a problem with the bowl. So let's start by troubleshooting here. The first method I use is simply to get a bucket of water, fill it up. You want to get two, two and a half gallons of water and actually dump it in the bowl. Now this works best when the water level in the bowl is low or just medium. Uh, if it's full or near overflowing, don't even go to this. Go right to a plunger or even a snake. But this is using hydrostatic pressure, which is simply the force of water pushing down into the bowl. Uh, let's see how it works. So I've got a bucket of water here. And this should work exactly like a regular toilet flush with the exception of the water isn't coming from the rim of the bowl, it's actually coming from the, uh, the bucket. Now this water level is not low, it's more medium. I don't know that we're going to have great success because of that. If it was very low it works fairly well. So here, let's try it. You want to pour it all in at one time and that, uh, that forced everything down. So let's see now if that made any difference at all. So we'll get some more toilet paper. Now the water level is very low. Uh, I'm not going to put a lot of toilet paper in it. Let's just see what happens. Not good. So now we're going to go to the second method and that is going to be the plunger, my weapon of choice. So realize that the capacity of these economical tanks is only 1.6 gallons of water and I just threw two and a half gallons of water down the bowl and it flushed very well. Uh, you certainly don't want to do that every time you need to flush the toilet, but just be aware that uh, you're, you're playing with 1.6 gallons rather than a, a big bucket of water. Okay, the next method to try is a plunger. And you notice this plunger has a very narrow opening and this is what you want. You want to be able to move a large volume of water very focused very quickly. Don't get the plunger that it looks like a, a, a cereal bowl connected to a stick. Uh, you want something that is that can carry volume and push, every, push the water down in a very narrow opening. So let's try this. You want to fill this with the water in the bowl because water won't compress but air will. So if I just tried to do, do that you can see the water coming up. We want to fill this with as much water as we can. And I just uh, opened up the toilet there to allow more water in. And a lot of times you'll get uh, you'll get an object that will come back out. Like uh, you'd be surprised, uh, pens, glasses. People will bend over and uh, and uh, it'll drop out of their pocket. So this is really terrible. Now while the water level is getting pretty high, I'm going to try this again. I'll refill with water. You can see I'm putting a lot of weight on this thing and still not a whole lot's happening. So we'll let this thing refill. That was a pretty good flush. You can see everything went down. I'm going to give it just one more for safe measure. Expelling the air first. When it refills, it will refill with water. 
and then give it a couple of real good pushes. And this will either this will either uh, push the obstruction down or to bring it back into the bowl. So when you're done with that, you want to have a plastic bag nearby because now this is really dirty. You want to dump that into the bag so you don't drip anything in anybody's house. Let's get some toilet paper. Put that in there and see how this goes once it refills again. Excellent. That was a great flush. I'm hoping that we're fixed here. Okay, that last flush was really good, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to show you how to snake a toilet with a closet auger or toilet snake. It's like a normal plumbing snake that you might see, except that it's got a fixed handle on it and it's got a protective boot so you don't scratch the porcelain of the toilet. So this is what it looks like. It's about six feet long uh, and you want to hold on to the protective boot here and the corkscrew end is in there. So you slip this down inside the toilet and now anything that scratches, you're not gonna, you're not gonna see it because it's down underneath where your eyes would see anyway. So once that's in there, you can push the snake through. It's actually moving. I've got about six, and there's about three feet of it in there. And if there's anything in there, it's uh, it's not coming out. So I'll just retract that, and that's just rust from this thing. And again, you want to have a a uh, bag or something to put this thing in because it, of course, is nasty. And let's flush it. Alright, let's put some more toilet paper in this thing, give it a flush and see how we did. I call that pretty successful.